So do you need seminars or courses in order to uh, change your life? And I'm going to tell you right now, you don't need any of that. Now, I want to add a little bit to that. So you don't need it if you are taking action. If you are taking all the action that you can and you can see where you need to go, then stop taking seminars, stop taking courses. Um, you know, uh, I think all you might need is maybe uh, mentorship or coaching, right? Or even just accountability with friends. Um, someone who really believes in you and who you believe in and is on the path with you, then that can be a great accountability partner. Um, now, uh, so yeah, um, you don't need a seminar, you don't need courses, you don't need any more programs if you've already taken a few. And what the real reason you're taking the next one is because you're avoiding action. So if you're avoiding action, um, if you're waiting for the best opportunity, oh, well, after I take this course or after I do this retreat, then I'll be able to start my own business and I'll feel ready. No, if you're taking a seminar or a course or whatever in order to feel ready to do something, then that course, that seminar, whatever you're doing, is a distraction and it's a addiction that you have, right? You're just going for the course high. You're going for the seminar high. And then after you leave that course, that seminar, you're not going to really act on it. You know, um, there's sometimes you get a breakthrough and you realize, oh, I don't fucking need another course, you know? Um, now if you're, now, if you're thinking of signing up for a seminar or a course um, because you want that accountability, you want that investment, and maybe you've already been making progress and you're getting stuck, right? You're getting stuck, you're hitting a wall, and you can't, you're not at a point where you're creative or resourceful enough to, you know, think around that problem, right? So, then you might need some more information. So sign up for a course, sign up for a seminar, a program, coaching calls, do all that stuff. I actually, I would recommend <clears throat> don't overwhelm yourself with a bunch of courses because you're going to be learning pretty much the same stuff. Uh, nobody, nobody here is reinventing the wheel. If you take enough courses, you realize nobody's reinventing the wheel. They're doing the same self-help stuff dating back to um, like the early 1920s. Like, really, um, go to any seminar. They're doing the same techniques that Tony Robbins is, just in a different, a slightly different format. And Tony Robbins is doing the same exact stuff that Jim Rowe um, was doing. Um, uh, so, you know, with slight personality variations, slight different perspectives, of course, every coach, every seminar has a different experience. Um, and some, some teachers speak to you better than others, right? Um, definitely, definitely, uh, a Tony Robbins would speak to a different person than, uh, Jim Rowan. Um, so, uh, so yeah, um, be mindful of the fact that maybe you're only taking this course, investing this money because you're looking for another way to distract yourself. Consider that. I know a lot of courses, they sell you, they're like for a limited time you know, this is the best information. This is what I wish I had when I was starting. Yeah, they all say the same thing. 
right? But you know, there there's there's something there's something now, you know, believe when they say that because they wouldn't be making that course and selling it so hard if they didn't believe in it. But that's their perspective from their future self, right? Um, and not necessarily the one that got them there, right? Um, <clears throat> and, you know, um, uh, yeah, it's, it's just like we know all the sales stuff. Um, we know all the information. You can literally just journal for yourself and make an action plan and then try that out uh, and then fail at it and then try another one and fail at that and then maybe the third or fourth or fifth one, right? You you get to a point where you've met enough people, you've, you know, you've gotten out there enough to figure it out. But that's all part of the process, right? Um, stop trying to look for shortcuts because you're, you can't do it alone, but a lot of this stuff you're gonna do alone, right? You need support. So <clears throat> instead, so what seminars are sold on you is information. We'll teach you, we'll guide you. These are the steps to do it. We'll give you the tools, right? You have to do all that on your own. They're not gonna do it for you, right? So what you're really getting from a program or a seminar or you know whatever, a coach, what you're getting is accountability and <clears throat> you're getting support. You're getting someone who believes that you can do anything you put your mind to and will kind of help like support you on that way but at the end of the day uh you're gonna have to do your own work you're gonna have to do the homework um there's no there's no fucking way around it you're gonna have to learn the boring shit you're gonna have to you know <laughs> do all that stuff and don't let me limit you don't let these be limiting beliefs um i question them too this is a lot of conditioning um but what you get out of a seminar is you network with a lot of like-minded people and then you keep up with them and you surround yourself with like-minded people who are ambitious who are crushing it and who want the best out of themselves and their friends. That is what you get from a seminar. Um, and keep tabs on them. Call them. Call them weekly. Call them bi-weekly. Catch up. <clears throat> Catch up. How's it going with that goal? Oh, yeah. How are you doing with your goal? Okay. And then at the end of the call, make an action step. Okay. I'm going to be a different person next time we talk. So what am I going to do in order to get there? So what's my homework? What's your homework? How are we going to keep each other motivated? Um, let's share our wins, right? Let's not talk too much about the plans because you can, you can talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. And what you're actually doing is you're expending energy that could be so... And I've explained this before in another video, but it starts as a thought or a feeling. And then it's either a word or an action. So you can either talk and the energy gets, right? Or you take action and the, the thought materializes, right? So both ways they enter the physical realm. Now, and then the third stage, right, um, is experience. So when you talk about a big goal that you have, you get that rise. And it feels like you just accomplished it, right? You're talking about it. You're talking about it. You know, you feel good about it. But where is it? Right? So 
instead of talking about it, you can take action and then experience it. And if you take action in solitude by yourself, well, how else is it going to manifest, right? You didn't share it with the universe. You didn't speak it into existence. You didn't mentally masturbate about it, right? Um, there's two options, right? You can masturbate or you can have sex, right? And if you quit masturbating, then the only outlet is sex. And that's, at least for men, that's one of the appeals in NoFap is that, well, if you don't masturbate, then you're going to be getting a lot more sex because your drive to get sex, your, um, you, you start, your brain starts rewiring to, oh, instead of this being my outlet and this turning me on and, you know, whatever, now my only outlet is an actual woman that I have to court or, you know, at least flirt with a little bit until she wants to have sex, right? Uh, so it, it becomes a different motivator, right? So are you going to be motivated by the physical, the physical manifestation of your goals or the lofty, you know, dispersing of energy, right? So it's your choice, make a commitment, uh, and uh, take action. That's all these courses are going to teach you. At the end of the day, these courses are going to teach you how to take action. Until And you will keep taking courses and seminars until you learn the final lesson. Okay? Go, go out there. Take action. Take what you learned and produce something. It's not that difficult. It's not that complicated. Um, try a few things. See what works. Test it. Get feedback. These are all vulnerable things. You're going to expand by doing it. And uh, you'd be doing yourself a disservice if you found the easy way out. If you found a shortcut. So stop looking for those shortcuts and start getting to work.